everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul so I was looking for three specific things and I only found one so the three things I was looking for were the mini first aid kit which I did find the like black and leopard disposable masks which I didn't find and the containers that pop up that are like plaid I couldn't find those either. My dollar store is either really well stocked or really picked over and it really depends like when you go. And this one was really picked over. So I did find a lot of amazing cleaning products and books. So I will be showing those to you today. And I also got a couple first aid items and a couple of like random items, which is where this falls into. So this random item is a double-sided set of markers which I thought was a really great deal um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before on my channel I do have the Silk and Sonder planner and they have the like what's it called I can't think of the word right now but uh, oh a habit tracker so I wanted these markers for my habit tracker in my planner so I thought this was a great deal and then they are broad and fine on each side. And the next thing that I got that was kind of random were these Munch Rites Cheddar and Sour Cream Baked Puffs. Um, so they are gluten free and they are kosher, but they are not vegan. So they have, um, they're, they're just like baked um, it's like baked Cheetos, but like ch cheddar and sour cream flavor. So I thought this would be interesting to try. It's a good sized bag, three ounces for a snack. And no, I have like a bunch of random stuff. Okay. So the next thing that I got, this bag is like all the random stuff. So the next thing I got was this metallic not metallic, um, a magnetic box. So I got this, oh my gosh, I can't even open it. Okay, so I opened it. So I got it for my bobby pins because I always lose them. And I used to have this like, I used to have this like awesome thing for my bathroom that like the front, it, it was like an organizer and you could put bottles of stuff in it. And then on the front, it was magnetic, and you could, like, attach bobby pins and stuff to it. And, yeah. When my house was getting professionally cleaned for when I was moving out, they threw out my entire bathroom box. And I got really upset about it. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have that container anymore, and I don't know if they sell it at Target. I haven't looked because it was kind of expensive. It was, like, 20 bucks. Um, and I don't want to buy it again because my bathroom is like a different size now. Like it fit my old bathroom, but it doesn't fit my new bathroom. So anyways, I got this for my bobby pins. Um, the next thing I got were three greeting cards. So I got two Father's Day cards and one birthday card. Um, so this is for my father-in-law. Uh, I picked it out for him and he's a big fisher. And then I got this for my dad. So, and by the way, these are Hallmark cards. These are Hallmark cards, which go for like five to seven ninety nine each. And then I got this for my brother in law. I was like, not my brother. Um, my brother's birthday is not coming up. So yeah, I got this for him. My husband's really bad at picking out cards, so I was just like texting him pictures, and then he um, told me this one's also Hallmark. Um, which one he wanted when I was at the store. Do not sleep on the greeting cards at Dollar Tree. Okay, these two things I'm pretty excited about. So S Sweet Simple Life hauled this first aid kit, and I wanted to get one too. It comes with eight Q-tips, tweezers, mini scissors, two bandages... Um, and five safety pins and a multifunctional knife. I just think everyone needs one of these. 
and it's a really good size. And this was by the registers. And then I got two of these, but um, I don't know where the second one went. So I have always wanted to try this liquid skin. This is name brand. This is not Dollar Tree brand. Um, it's instead of using a Band-Aid and it's 100% waterproof and quick dry. So my husband is like notorious for like, he gets injured and I put a Band-Aid on it and like 20 minutes later he rips off and he's like, it's uncomfortable. So I was like, I'm getting this. And I'm surprised that the Dollar Tree had it. I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but the Dollar Tree did have it. And I got two to put one in my first aid kit. The next thing I got was like this very small bottle of Dollar Tree's version of Tylenol. So I'm putting this in my first aid kit. All of my medication in my first aid kit is expired. So I picked up a lot of medication to put in my first aid kit. So I did this one and then I have a couple others. I found the other liquid band, uh, liquid skin band-aid. I also got Neosporin. This is gonna go into my first aid kit because I've, I stole my Neosporin out of my first aid kit um, and gave it to my mom because she injured her hand and she couldn't find any anywhere. So I need a replacement. So I got this. And the next thing I got was a little tiny pack of Excedrin. You get three packets of two caplet, caplets. So this one's actually not gonna go in my first aid kit. I'm gonna put, pack this in my husband's work bag because sometimes he gets some migraines and he never has medication. And I feel really horrible when he says that he has a really bad headache and he doesn't have any medicine. So I just got this like little travel Excedrin for him and then for the first aid kit I got little packets of Advil you get six coated tablets you get three packets of two so it's like one uh, dose in each packet those are really useful and this is not for my first aid kit but it's like first aid kit related I got Dollar Tree's version of Vicks VapoRub you always like need it when you don't have it. So I was like, I'm, I'm getting this because last time we needed it, it was like so old and there was like dust. <laughs> so I got this to put in our medicine cabinet in our bathroom just in case. So these are really good first aid staples. I think that's all for first aid. So on to random again. I got this picture hanging kit. This was in the frame section. Um, I just thought this was really useful. I'm going to be hanging up some pictures soon. And the picture hanging kit that I have is like basically everything's gone. So, um, I needed a new one. Um, and I saw this at Dollar Tree and I was pretty excited that this was there. The next thing I got, which technically is for crafting, um, is an embossing tool. So you have this side and then you have the smaller side. So I'm actually going to be using this for nail art. To make dots so I was pretty excited to see this for a dollar and then I also got another pack of Efferdent this is name brand this is not Dollar Tree brand um, and this is great for um, cleaning your retainers for Invisalign so I like using these and it's also antibacterial so it will get rid of like smells and tastes of other foods and stuff so I highly recommend this getting at the Dollar Tree. It's a great deal for 20 tablets. And then I also got these Raid Fly Ribbons. So I've been having problems with like mosquitoes and flies and stuff getting in when I open my garage door to take the trash out. So I thought that these were interesting. So there's no aroma, no incest insecticides. Um, you just, I read the directions and basically you just, um, it's a, it, like you adhere the ribbon to the garage and it hangs down and then they get caught in it and then you just like cut the ribbon and throw it away. Um, so I thought this was a really great deal. You get four for a dollar and it's name brand, Raid. In my old house, we had an ant, an ant problem. So 
Yeah. Okay, the next thing I'm like super excited about. I got Lysol Clean and Fresh, and they also had the original one that was blue. I've been looking for this everywhere. Grocery store didn't have it, Walmart didn't have it, Target didn't have it, and it's, you put it around your toilet bowl, and it's, it clings, and um, has a nice scent, and it, and it cleans it. So I've been looking for this for my toilets. We have a little bit of a hard water problem, that's why I need it. So I got that at the dollar, to dollar store, and I was pretty floored that it was there. So that got me into the uh, rabbit hole of cleaning products. So the next cleaning product that I got is some Dollar Tree. Well, I don't even think this is like Dollar Tree brand. But their version of Lysol. So my parents used this and they really liked it. This was like when you couldn't find Lysol, the height of the pandemic. I, I got this for them. And they said it's really good. So I picked this up because my husband uses Lysol a lot and I was like, you need to stop using it so much. It's really expensive. And then he was like, okay, well, we'll just buy another one. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just get this one since so it's a dollar. And they also had a smaller can if you don't need like the big can, but this is the big can. And then the next thing, oh wait, this is actually not a cleaning product, but they put it with my cleaning products. So I am going to try out this shaving cream. Um, I, they also had like f flavors, <laughs> scents, but I got the ultra sensitive fragrance and dye free. Um, I've never tried this. This is not dollar store brand. This is actually by Barbasol. And I was trying to, oh, it has aloe, thyme, papaya, and willow bark. I have this, um, kind that it's like a cream and it always gets stuck in the bottle and then it doesn't squeeze out and it's really annoying. So I'm going to try this. If anyone's tried this let me know down below in the comments so anyways on to cleaning stuff again um sweet simple i've hauled this in the past um i don't know if it was this exact one but it's la's total totally awesome daily shower and it's like the knockoff version of method it even kind of looks like it and i'm really excited to try this out for my shower so and it's a big bottle it's 32 fluid ounces I also got LA's Totally Awesome Fabric Refresher, which is the knockoff version of Febreze Fabric, because I'm almost out of my Febreze Fabric and I can't find it anywhere, and if I find it, it's like $10, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this, and I know this is bad, but I did smell it in the store, because I didn't want it to be like a bad scent, but this is Crisp Linen Set, and it actually smelled really good, so I do recommend this. I haven't used any of these before, but if any of you have used these before, please let me know down below in the comments how you feel about them. That was it for that bag. And then I have a couple more cleaning products. The next one that I got was LA's Total Awesome, Totally Awesome Grill and Oven Cleaner. Cleans and degreases ovens and grills. And it says like don't use it on glass, leather, and wood. So I'm this is really heavy. Um this is 40 fluid ounces. Um I've been trying to use the Aldi Degrease Orange Spray, and it just does not cut it. Um, so I was looking for something a little bit more hefty duty. I don't want to use a lot of Clorox wipes. It's really super wasteful to me. So I got this. So I will um, be trying this out on my oven this weekend. My goal is to get my kitchen cleaned up this weekend. So I got this. And then the next thing I got was this love my carpet carpet and room deodorizer and it says that you can also um sprinkle it in your trash cans um so it says upholstery litter boxes garbage pails diaper pails and car interior and i got the fresh linen scent because they also had um lavender and they had hawaiian breeze and i didn't know if it was going to be like too strong um because i like, when I think of, like, Hawaiian breeze, I think of, like, flowers, and I don't really like flowers, even though I'm Hawaiian. And then lavender could be too strong. So I just got this. And they did also have the, um, the Arm & Hammer brand name carpet one. And I almost didn't get it because I didn't really like the, the top. It's, like, a cardboard box. This one is, like, actually plastic. But I did want to try this out. This one's Island Mist. 
and it uh, eliminates odors. I don't have a pet, but I just thought this would be really nice to like kind of shampoo. It's not like shampoo, but it, like it would make your carpets look nicer. So it's eliminate odors from smoke, mold, and mildew in a pleasant fragrance for long lasting freshness. They also had um, pet version that like repels pet odors and they also had like extreme for like extreme smoke, extreme mold, extreme mildew, which I would have needed in my old house because my old house had a really bad mildew problem. But I just thought this looked really great. This is a dollar, guys, this is, all this is a dollar. It's just so great. I also got this Fresh and Nature Household Odor Eliminator. These are usually like three, four dollars at the regular store. Um, and I am going to put this in my refrigerator. So this just kind of like neutralizes odors. So um, you can put it in your refrigerator, you can put it in your gym bag, you can put it in um, an area that kind of has a weird smell. It's great. I re highly recommend this. This is a name brand, Ar Arm & Hammer. I've used this before. All right, and the last cleaning item that I got was a pair of gloves. They didn't have any other color. Um, they had yellow, but it wasn't like heavy duty. So I got these pink reusable gloves. Again, a dollar, really great deal. Sorry, I hit my camera. And the last thing that I got were I got three books. And I'm like super excited. So... The first book that I got was The Disasters by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, which I used to read the Marked series by PC Cast, and I never finished it because it kind of went off the rails. But Hardback Book, originally priced $19.99. A dollar! A dollar at the Dollar Tree! Even if it's like a bad book, which I'm imagining it's not going to be because it's PC Cast, I love her writing. Um, it's a dollar and you can, you know, pass it along to someone that might like it. So, and it has a dust cover too. The next book that I got was something that I thought my husband would really love to read. So it's called The Skill of Our Hands. And it's about, um, like secret societies of like regeneration. It's very sci-fi. Um, there's like a crime that went on and they're like bringing him back to life to solve one of these crimes. It's really cool. This is definitely my, my husband's wheelhouse of sci-fi. So again, it was a dollar. So if it's just okay, then we can pass it on. And the last thing that I got was actually a book that I was about to buy because I saw her on the Drew Barrymore show and I was like, oh, this is so cool. And then I'm actually going to be gifting this to my sister for her birthday, which is not until December, but I'll just save it for her because I didn't want to miss out on this opportunity, is The Power of Sprinkles. It is hardback. It's brand new. And it has um, recipes on how to make cakes. Like, look at this. And it also has like stories. Look at this. My, um, well, I was gonna say my husband. My sister really loves making cakes, making really unique cakes. So I thought she would enjoy this book. There's also like, oh, it's an avocado, avocado toast cake. I was like, oh, there's also other recipes in here, but no, it's all cake. She has the spring, like she sells her own sprinkles, like these sprinkles, and she has these sprinkles. So I thought she would really love this book. Um, so that's everything. That is everything I got from my amazing Dollar Tree cleaning book first aid haul. Let me know down below in the comments what item you were the most excited to see and which one you're going to look at your local dollar store for. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Um, if you like my content, feel free to subscribe Subscribe before you leave or leave a like or a comment down below. Thank you so much. Bye.